celebrate the state. The people. The magic. The memories. The bright lights and high rides. The sparkling eyes. Over two full weekends. The Royal Adelaide Show. The show of a lifetime. Free purchase tickets and save. Theshow.com.au Love it. We come over to the Adelaide Show here every year. I'm really excited to be competing today. Well, a very good afternoon and welcome to you all. If you're watching our live stream here for the Royal Adelaide Show, the 244th Royal Adelaide Show, it is the longest running successive show in all of the world as far as we know and uh, it is a very prestigious event indeed. We've got our champions coming up this afternoon with Champion Lady Rider. We've also got our champions uh, Charles show pony hack our show hunter hack i should say and uh right now we are bringing to you our lady rider class 30 years and over i think uh there are six competitors out here at the moment from all over from victoria from new south wales from south australia uh megan cheeseman karen golder kate halliday melissa harding samantha kennedy catherine neal and Rebecca Shute. They are our competitors here for this class. Lady Rider over 30 years of age. They're on the circle here at the moment and uh, we have Peter Hegney here with us bringing us some commentary as well as Jess Stones who has had great success at this show in the past. So we'll be bringing you all of the action of our Lady Rider 30 years and over but this is quite a long class and uh, Lee Halpin Bishop will need the time she requires to make her adjudication of our first, second, third place getter so on and so forth. So we invite you particularly in this class to ask us questions whether uh, they are comments about what you're seeing out there and which of the riders you particularly like if you have questions because you've never been involved in the horse show ring before and uh, you don't know a lot of what's going on we've got Jess Stones here to answer all of your questions Peter Hegney as well so get involved tell us what you'd like to know tell us what you'd like to see and we'll bring you all of the action here from the horses in action at the Royal Adelaide show Well, you'll hear our steward there passing on the instruction on behalf of our judge asking our riders to canter on. Oh, 
Well, thanks, Lindsay. Uh, you come in, please. Only a smallish field here, unfortunately, for our lady rider, 21 years and under 30. We can pardon our lady rider, 30 years and over. Let's get that right. Maybe the ladies would be flattered that I included them in the 21 and under 30 class, but it is the lady rider, 30 years and over, of course. And uh, six riders competing. We have number 94. This is Megan Cheeseman. Number 130, Fiona McIntyre. Number 95 is Karen Golder. Number 131 is Penny Virgo. Thirty-seven was another competitor I didn't mention to. This is Michelle Painter. So six riders in all, competing in this, the lady rider, thirty years and over. Well, let's hear from the expert in the field, a lady who's won this class many times, has come through the junior ranks, as Lindsay told you earlier. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful horse lady. Not just a very good show rider, but a wonderful horseman, horse person, I guess, today. Um, just thanks for taking the time to be with us. Uh, I suppose, uh, if people were watching earlier, we're judging this class much the same as we were judging the earlier rider class. Yeah, absolutely. All these classes um, are you know, judged um, on, on the rider. And, uh, yeah, so we're now getting into the um, older age, age groups of our adult riders. And then this is the class for the riders over 30. The big question I want to ask you is why aren't you out there? You've won many of these. You'd give them a run for their money. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, no, I definitely would like to be and, and for sure do enjoy it. Um, however, I don't really have uh, the right horse at the moment um, and limited amount of time, especially just having a newborn baby. But yeah, I'll get back out into it soon. <laughs> of course you will. I'm sure you will. And we sincerely hope you do. And of course, you have got different priorities now, haven't you, with the baby? Yes. And of course, the big question is uh, being asked, how have you got yourself back into shape so quickly? An amazing effort. Yeah, well, life has certainly changed uh, a lot, uh, for the better, of course. Uh, as we've got a beautiful daughter, Eva. She's um, amazing. Um, yeah, I look, OK, contrary to people not liking it, I did ride up until the day before I gave birth, and I rode nine days after giving birth. Um, and yeah, I've been you know, really stopped, so um, it worked out for, well for me. I had quite an easy pregnancy, so I was able to do so. Um, but yeah, so you know, it's, uh, it's all. Uh, she's very adapted to life. Um, she's, I think, she's spent more time away travelling than uh, <laughs> she has at home. Um, but no, wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, obviously, uh, you're relishing motherhood. I might add, for those people who can't see Jess, she looks absolutely sensational. And uh, I think that's part of life for uh, young mothers in the horse world. Uh, their children tend to adapt to the conditions and uh, just work in around horses, working with their daily routine. I'm sure at the end of the day, that's not going to interfere with anybody at all. So our first competitor now working out in the senior lady rider class is number 97, and this is Melissa Harding. Well, if you've just joined us here on the live stream, we're watching the judging of our lady rider 30 years and over in the main arena here at the Royal Adelaide Show. Lee Halpin Bishop, our judge from the Hunter Valley in New South Wales, has had many successful exhibits over the years. Uh, recently, Platinum Slippers, champion at uh, Bathurst Royal, was also successful at uh, New South Wales Horse of the Year and for two years was champion at Sydney Royal also. Well, you're currently watching the workout of Michelle Painter, catalogue number 137 in Class 10 Lady Rider, 30 years and over. 
Well, a couple of other very successful horses that uh, Judge Lee Harp and Bishop has had include uh, Jack Daniels, who's champion novice at Canberra Royal, Royal Windsor, a champion at Sydney Royal, Ace of Spades, a two-time champion at uh, Sydney, and uh, very familiar with her daughter, Hallie Halpin Bishop, who is proving just as successful as her mum in the show ring, and up until recently was exhibiting a magnificent Shetland, Cornelli Esquire, six-time Sydney Royal Champion, and unfortunately uh, he's just lost him in, the, in recent months. But Lee's had success as a rider in uh, many of the major shows around the nation. She's one rider at Sydney Royal, Brisbane, Canberra Royal. Was back-to-back -back New South Wales Rider of the Year and uh, has multiple Grand National titles. Like many, started out in the racing world, in the wonderful thoroughbred industry. Was a foreman for a racing stable and a father before her was a trainer for many, many years. Um, but it comes from both the sire and the dam's side of her family in terms of her love of horses. Her mum breeds Welsh ponies and uh, dad now breeds Clydesdales. Well, Jess, Michelle Paint has just done her workout. Uh, successful competitor? Yeah, extremely successful. Um, she's got an amazing horse underneath her, and um, they've had yeah a lot of great success. Comes to us from Victoria? Yes, yeah, yeah, she's from um, Victoria. I'm not sure exactly where, but yeah, definitely travels all the major shows on the East Coast. And yeah, it's pretty much, yeah, got wins and yeah, really good performances throughout. The workout, uh that has been designated for this particular class. Where is the judge going to be looking for the differences between first and second? Uh, I think definitely, you know, in any class, in any workout, like, you know, for between first and second, you're, you're splitting hairs, you're coming down to those real finer, finer details, and it could just be, um, you know, as simple as a, as a transition, uh, you know, the, the situating and, and, like, you know, where the, the workout is sort of, you know, put into practice in straight lines, approaching the judge, you know, coming straight on and, and away, halting, just real little finer details, like, you know, looking around and as assessing your surroundings. It can be just those finer details that come down to first and second sometimes. <laughs> well, this is uh, Megan Cheeseman working out now, I think it is anyway, yes. Megan Cheeseman? Yes, yeah, it is Megan, yeah. She's had a lot of great success um, with this horse, um, focusing probably on a lot of rider classes um, more so, and I think she does, um, uh, well, I know she's very successful in the dressage arena as well with this horse, and um, yeah, no, they've, they've had a lot of success. Now, I want to simplify this a little bit for the boys and girls at home that are watching a workout saying, what on earth is going on here? They don't know anything about the gates. They don't know anything about the principles of riding in this class. Could you walk it through us at a, at, walk us through this at a really simple level? Yeah, so um, as you said before, this is a rider class. So um, here, you know, you're foremostly judging the rider. Um, obviously, you know, you've got the overall picture and things like that you have to take into consideration. Um, but yeah, you are predominantly judging the rider. So it's all about the rider's position. And yeah, throughout the workout, they've, they've shown that, you know, the walk, the trot and the canter, and they have to do a change of direction, um, change a diagonal in the trot, change a lead in the canter. Um, maintain a halt at the end, uh, yeah. So, but yeah, predominantly judging the rider and their position and, and feel and how they execute their ride on the horse. Well, as Megan uh, comes to a completion now in front of our judge, you see the respectful nod there. Yeah, no, you definitely um, salute to the judge. Um, it's a way of respect, and she, um, you know, executed a, a really nice um, square halt at the end. So she should be very happy. It was quite a good workout. Fiona McIntyre will be the next to do her workout. What do we know about Fiona? 
Um, I know Fiona is also from Victoria. Um, again, um, I think she's got a lot of uh, racing thoroughbred background um, with her. Um, this horse, I believe, was a very successful race horse. I know he's won a lot uh, precedence, I think, if I stand corrected. Um, yeah, has jackpotted, you know, major prize money in the racing, so it's great to see, um, you know, again, a race horse uh, off the track and succeeding in another discipline. Um, it, it's great for the sport. Well, interesting, Peter, your background very much on the thoroughbred side of things. Uh, they make extraordinary hacks in many cases. Lindsay, they certainly do, but uh, as we're seeing with Priest at the moment, it doesn't come easily, and as Jess would know, only too well. It takes a little time for these horses. This horse was a wonderful race horse. He won over a million dollars. He was a Group 1 winner, super horse in the coming stable, um, and it's great to see him out here and competing. He's had considerable success in his show and career. I think this is his first outing here this year at the Adelaide Show, and in this big, wonderful arena, sometimes uh, horses can be a little overcome. Sometimes they're actually better off in a confined space rather than this big wonderful space we love it dearly and if you want a horse to move on and gallop on of course it's excellent but it can be a, yeah, a little bit intimidating and of course race horses they really get the racing background out of their system some adapt better than others and now Preston is actually settling down and working quite well I was interested uh, listening to just talking about the riders one thing I've noticed that for whatever reason riders tend to I suppose trying to ride very uh, is the word pretty if you like and uh, if they were going out in the hack class they'd be actually letting the horses go on more and more forward and letting them stride better they come to a rider class and they say whoa I've got to look pretty here I've got to sit up and do all the right things and they forget about sending their horses forward is that an unfair comment Jess? Uh, no, I absolutely agree. It's definitely not an unfair comment. It, it, like, yeah, it does t tend to happen, and it's just like when you see people go from sitting trot to rising trot, and the, the pace changes. You know, it should be a smooth transition. Um, you know, the pace shouldn't change. But you know, for example, between your sitting trot and your rising trot, but yeah, you definitely do see the horses go a lot more forward and more relaxed um, in a in a, in a horse-based judge class rather than a, than a rider class. Yeah, thank you. I'm pleased you confirmed that because I think perhaps we're seeing that today. And of course, I understand um, uh, the rider it is a rider class, as you say, and they're out there to perform the best, to look the best, to sit the best. But at the same time, as we've discussed through the previous rider classes, I think the good judges are actually looking for a rider who does actually make the horse go, who allows the horse to go, should I say, and rides forward. Uh, President's now settled down really well, and I'm pleased to see that, and I have no doubt that Teal uh, improves as the show progresses as well. Our next competitor will be number 95. This is Karen Golder. And you're watching the Lady Rider, 30 years of age and over. Karen Golder, number 95. Well, as I said before, we've got competitors from interstate here, local competitors as well. Uh, Megan Cheeseman, who rode out before, has uh, won her rider class at Melbourne. Uh, left riding for a few years, but now very much back into it with Future Farms. And then you've got the likes of Melissa Harding, who won her rider class at Grand National. South Australian girl, um, a teacher, but also a riding instructor. Michelle Painter, we just uh, shot, saw out her a moment ago. Fiona McIntyre. And uh, Karen Golder, I believe, is uh, doing her workout now.
Well, uh, these agricultural shows don't happen without wonderful expert volunteers from various equestrian fields and pursuits. And uh, we have our chief stewards out here, our councillors as well, and also stewards of the classes. One of those is young Henry Scott. Uh, Henry, you've got a wonderful team of people that work out here with you to support the judge. Yeah, the, it's actually been a really good year this year with um, the uh, people we've got. I've had an absolutely cracker time, so I can't complain about that. And, uh, yeah, just meeting everyone, so... <laughs> well, we're just putting you out in the live stream now, so we're going to make you famous for a moment. Uh, so supporting our Judge Lee Halpern Bishop, just to break it down for the boys and girls and mums and dads that aren't involved in the show world, um, you have a really important job in terms of looking after your competitors, looking after the integrity of the competition, but also being the voice between the judge and the competitors. Yes, yes, that is correct, yeah. Um, yeah, so we, we essentially just put our own little flair on it, um, try and make the day as uh, fun as possible for us all, but at the end of the day, um, the results are what we're after, so um, the sharper it is, the quicker we get there. So. Indeed, and a good, what do they say, a good competition's a fast competition. Now, um, our judge here today is Lee Halpin Bishop. She's come across from New South Wales. It's such an honour for them to come to a show of this calibre, the Royal Adelaide Show. How did you become involved with the Royal Adelaide Show? Well... Um, it all started out um, like this one time on band camp. It all just it all just happened. Um, I was just like, we're short. We need a we need a hand this year. And um, Ed, my brother, was was already roped in. I got the call up, and then um, four years on, I'm still here. So um, your dad's involved as well. This year he's actually a judge. So we're we're family affair. Uh, Mum's actually up there doing the ribbons. So it's uh, we're gluttons of, for punishment. So and your local show. Uh, is the Port Elliot show um, actually down down south in, in Victor Harbour? Um, but Adelaide is it, yeah, it's, it's a special spot for me here. It certainly is. Your family's got an interest in horses going back some years. Yes, um, yes, we've been going. We we had horses pretty well as soon as we moved out here from like on basically the first fleet essentially. Um, but funny enough. Uh, as much as we love horses, our nasal cavities don't, apparently. No! Hay fever's the killer, so on the nostril sprays and Zyrtec. <laughs> You're going to be having a fun show then. Uh, look, uh, we've just had another of our competitors work out here, and uh, I'll bring you an update on where we're up to. Penny Verco. And that was our last rider, and I'll tell you, Penny, not our last rider in total, but um, Penny Verco actually has had some wonderful successes here that I can share with you on the live stream that I wouldn't be able to share over the main arena. But in fact, back in 2000 and 2001, uh, Penny was our champion lady rider. So if all goes to plan for her today, she will do well here and be eligible to go on and compete then. But I'll tell you what, it is an incredibly strong class. And... Uh, to be chosen here as the blue ribbon recipient against the other seven competitors out here he's not only a challenge but a real honor well we'll head over now to the presentation area where our judge, Lee Halpin Bishop, has alerted the stewards to her decision. And uh, we can see... We can see that the blue ribbon is not being placed on the horse because it's a rider class. It goes on the arm now. Congratulations to catalogue number 97... It's Melissa Harding. Congratulations to Melissa Harding, who is taking out first place here today. Second place to catalogue number 137, Michelle Painter. Catalogue number 131 is in third place, Penny Verco. Fourth place to catalogue 94, it's Megan Cheeseman. Fifth place to catalogue 95, Karen Golder. 
And sixth place today, catalogue number 130, Fiona McIntyre. But it's catalogue number 97 who has been successful here today, Melissa Harding. <laughs> well, Melissa, it sounds like uh, you've got a horse here that understands you've done very, very well. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Tell us, where have you come from? Where have you been competing in the lead up to today? Um, I'm from here. Um, I haven't actually done a lot of competing lately because I had a baby seven months ago. Um, so I'm extremely lucky to have actually borrowed this horse and he was amazing because he doesn't know me at all either. Um, so very thank you for thankful to his owner Donna because it's a very big thing to borrow their horse out. Well, I'll tell you what, Donna will be just delighted with what he's achieved with you here today. Now, congratulations. You've, you Tell us about your, your horse riding history. Where did it all begin? Um, I've been riding since I could basically walk. Um, I actually now teach young riders. I've had a lot here competing, so this is actually my only class this weekend, or which we'll see. Um, so I've been here helping all the kids, um, so I now actually do it as a living, um, and yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, let's do a bit of a plug for your business. If we want to find you and get some riding lessons, okay. where would we see you? Um, I'm Melbourne Park, so if you look up Melbourne Park on Facebook, um, we're in Two Worlds, South Australia, and we actually do riding lessons for kids that don't even have their own horse, so if they want to look at starting riding, they can come to us. You're an extraordinary woman. Congratulations, our winner. We'll see you out here for the champion judging in just a few moments' time. Melissa Harding is the winner today of our Lady Rider 30 Years and Over class judged by Lee Halpin Bishop. They'll make their way out of the main arena now and we'll come back to you in a few moments' time for the judging of our champion Lady Rider. I hope you're enjoying your day. I hope you're enjoying the live stream. We're certainly enjoying the sunshine here at the Royal Adelaide Show. Celebrate the state. The people. The magic. The memories. The bright lights and, and high rides. The sparkling eyes. Over two full weekends. The Royal Adelaide Show. The show of a lifetime. Free purchase tickets and save. Theshow.com.au over to the Adelaide show here every year. I'm really excited to be competing today.
This event is special because it's the premium wine show in Australia. South Australia makes 75% of Australia's wines and this is where we have the best wine. If you want to understand wine and enjoy wine, come here. It's great value, yeah. it really is. It's such good value. You can go to a tasting sort of event anywhere, but it's not going to be like thousands, like literally thousands. There's some new wines that you don't ever see in some of the wineries. And to get such a broad spectrum of wine in one night is brilliant. We're talking about wines that are just out on the tables here that are upwards of $150, $200 bottles, right down to your $20, $30 bottles, which are great to get into as well. There is a wine here for everybody. There's about 70 different categories of wine, and you just got to get out there. You've got the freedom to pick up the bottle, put it in your glass and taste. I think it's good that it's uh, a little bit unstructured, and I don't mean that in a, a chaotic way. Uh, nobody's here trying to stop you from opening a red or opening a white or whatever. This beats like going to cellar doors and stuff. It just cuts all of that out. Like and the access to everything, yeah. no big queues to wait around for one bottle. Fortunately, I spent the extra $10 to do the masterclass at 5.30. And that was fantastic to try the award-winning wines. I keep coming back each year because I enjoy seeing the new vintages, the new wines, the new take on some of the old style wines. Amazing. The original creators of Freestyle Motocross are back with the all-new Krusty Demon's Rise of the Demon World Tour. Featuring an all-star lineup of the world's best FMX riders, world record holders, Krusty Babes and fan favourites, including Australia's own Jackson Strong. This ain't no circus. Taking over the country with 12 massive shows. Tickets on sale now at Krusty.com.
over to the Adelaide show here every year. I'm really excited to be competing today. Well, a very good afternoon and welcome to you all, our live stream viewers on Facebook, on YouTube, on the Stock Journal's website. We have a very exciting class coming up for you this afternoon, judged by Lee Halpin Bishop from the Hunter Valley in New South Wales, a lady of much acclaim in the show ring. Well, today she's on the other side of the show ring making the decisions. And our three eligible competitors here for champion lady rider. Well, we've just judged our lady rider 30 years and over, Melissa Harding, a South Australian local. She's an instructor here. She's got a wonderful riding school and uh, I believe she's actually won the rider class at Grand National in previous years so it'll be wonderful to see her work out here today on a horse that she has borrowed and uh, that she's only really ridden on I think once prior to this. Uh, from the next age group down at Taylor Ray Williams from uh, the southern or oh, south coast I believe of New South Wales. Well, She also has had great successes in the lead up to today uh, when she was under 21 and in that age group she was the successful champion rider at Grand National under 21 back I think in 2013 and then the next age group down from that we have Bryony Lee and two years ago on a three years ago now, 2016, Bryony was our champion junior rider, 14 and under 18 years of age. So she has come to us from Victoria. So we've got New South Wales, Victoria and South Australia, uh, three very accomplished ladies out here on the ring right now for our judge, Lee Halpin Bishop. We'll be joined by Peter Hegney to take you through the competition here today, but uh, this is one class sure to watch. Thanks, Lindsay. It will be interesting to see whether the judge judges this championship the same as she did the younger championship group, where she judged all the riders on the circle. They weren't asked to perform an individual workout. Now she's now got them tr walking, trotting and obviously cantering on the circle at present. As Lindsay said to you, we have three riders competing for this Champion Lady Rider Award. Number 93, that's Taylor Ray Williams from New South Wales, winner of the 21 to 30 year old age group. 
Number 97 is Melissa Harding, perhaps known to some as Melissa Karutz from here in South Australia. She was the winner of the over 30 rider class. And number 80 from Victoria, from Whittlesea in Victoria, is Bryony Lee. And as Lindsay mentioned, uh, Bryony has previously been a junior champion rider here at uh, the Adelaide Royal Shows. She's had great success at many other Royal Shows as well. So a very accomplished lineup of uh, three riders competing for this very prestigious award. I find something a little interesting here actually in that uh, on the circle these riders are all really riding forward. Now when speaking to, with Just Stones just a little earlier when the lady rider over 30 was being judged we both commented how some riders when they go into a rider class tend to forget about riding their horse forward and uh, I understand that they're a little nervous they want to sit up properly and look as good as they possibly can but in doing so sometimes they, they lose the real um, aspect of, of going forward forward and letting their horse swing along. Now on the circle here I would have to say these horses have worked very well indeed. The riders have asked them to work along. They're covering good ground, good swinging counter, they're back to the trot obviously now and uh, again horses moving quite forward so that's really good to see. Our judge is now asking for a sitting trot and of course very testing and although the horse should have no bearing on the result of the class, the fact of life is that if you've got a horse that has a nice smooth trot, it certainly makes it easier to sit to. Uh, for those people at home watching not so familiar with the class, the judge is looking for a rider who sits deeply into the saddle, is not bouncing all over the shop around in the saddle, but sits quite deeply. And obviously if you've got a smooth moving horse, a horse with a lovely smooth stride, then uh, it makes it a little bit easier to, to sit to the trot. Now our judge has asked our three riders to come in and line up and we'll see whether she has yet make it, made a decision or whether she is in fact going to send them out with an individual workout. Well, you see Lee Halpin Bishop, uh, who is making her decision at the moment. Whether she gets them to work out individually or not will be at her discretion, but uh, Lee certainly an appropriate judge for a royal show. She herself has been champion lady rider at Canberra Royal, at Royal Queensland Show at Brisbane, at Sydney Royal as well. And we can see now that she's bringing in a contender catalogue number 87 which means i don't know if you can hear on the live stream that big old cheer that's come from the, the arena because uh that means that the discerning few know uh who their champion is and uh without making it official we can tell you that it is the young lady from new south wales who has had great success as a young rider at grand national and has a, made really made her mark on the show ring taylor ray williams will likely be our champion lady rider and uh there's a big smile on her face right now but what you're seeing on the ring now on the circle is that Bryony Lee uh, our successful competitor from the 18 to 21 year old class and also Melissa Harding who is our winner from the 30 year old and over class will go on the circle with the contender from the 21 to 30 year old class which is Naomi Kurutz and uh, our judge will re-examine I guess for want of a better word all three of these riders in order to determine who will be our reserve champion lady rider for the 2019 Royal Adelaide Show. Yes, Lindsay, uh, I'm sure all those showies at home, of course, know exactly what's going on. But if you are not so familiar, then as Lindsay pointed out to you, the rider who was placed 
second to the champion, the rider who has been chosen as our champion rider. And the second place getter to that rider has now been invited to come in and be a contender for the reserve championship. And that occurs because it could be that that particular class was extremely strong and the second place getter may have been a better rider than the winners of the other two classes. That's how that comes about. So as a consequence, Naomi, Naomi Karutz comes in. She was placed second to Taylor Ray Williams. And again, Again, this is uh, not the official result, but the logic says that's the way it's all happened. And uh, now Naomi Kurutz herself has come in. Now, I think I'm right in saying she's uh, riding out there with her sister, and I stand corrected, Melissa Harding, formerly M Melissa Kurutz. So we have our three riders now riding off for the reserve champion senior lady rider. Well, uh, we're going to quickly sneak in a little interview here with Taylor Ray Williams, who uh, is a very happy lady right now, and it's a very emotional moment. Uh, we're watching the competition at the moment for reserve champion, but Taylor Ray, boy, you've had an amazing career, but this one's a really big moment for you, isn't it? Yeah, this one um, is actually huge. Um, been in the champion lady right at line up a couple of times, but yeah, never, never any luck. So this is yeah, really, really exciting. It's a pretty special moment. You're going to make me cry. Um, you're on a beautiful horse today, EBL Rich List from the JNR Equestrian Stables. We've had Jess giving us commentary the whole way through. We've been so lucky. They're a wonderful organisation to be affiliated with. Yeah, they're great. Um, super thankful to them and um, their whole team for lending Rusty today for me. So yeah. Now it was 2009. It was 2013 when you were under 21 and you went on to Grand National to be the champion lady rider there. You really stamped your name on the uh, show ring. At that point but uh, you've but you as you said you've entered a lot of uh, lady rider competitions but today has been your big day I mean what has worked out there for you um, yeah it's been been a tough few years not having my own horse and that sort of thing so hopefully next year um, yeah I might have have the one so hey you based down in Bega now um, no, I'm in the Hawkesbury now so yeah um, was in Bega but in the Hawkesbury now where can we look out for you in the next few weeks? Where will you be competing? Um, I'll be actually at um, the ACT Hack Championships um, next weekend, straight from here. So um, I'll be there and, yeah, a few, few shows in Sydney. Well, what a wonderful moment this is. We'll let you just have a few moments to enjoy it because that uh, it's not official yet, but uh, we imagine our champion lady rider is the gorgeous Taylor Ray Williams. And what a wonderful young lady she is. And uh, you see now our judge, Lee Halpin Bishop, is having a tough time deciding who our reserve champion will be. Well, uh, we have had a question come through on the live stream, and do you know what? I don't have a computer with me, but I know the answer off the top of my head. Josh Jones, thank you so much for your question uh, on Facebook today. He wanted to know, Peter Hegney, when the first Royal Adelaide show was, and I can tell you this, it was 1840. Now, I've been telling you throughout the live stream that we're in our 244th year. If you're any good at arithmetic, which I am not, you will know that it is not possible for us to have held annual shows starting in 1840 and today be at our 244th show, but there's a very good reason that we have 244. There certainly is, and I understand the maths don't add up. You're quite right, Lindsay. The first show, the Royal Agricultural and Horticultural Society was established in 1839, and the first show was actually held in 1840. That's 180 years of establishment by the Royal Agricultural and Horticultural Society, but in the early days, there used to be two shows conducted a year. So that's why there were 244 shows that have actually been conducted.
and uh, as I'm sure you uh, may have heard previously, that is considered a world record, the Bath, Bath and West County show in England, which was established in 1777. Uh, that's a very, very long time ago, obviously. Um, we thought held the record, but now we actually think the little old Adelaide holds that record. So that's the reasoning, 180 years of establishment by the Royal Agricultural and Horticultural Society of South Australia. But 244 shows are being conducted because in the early years there were two shows conducted in the one year. All right, we have our results. We have our champion. Our champion lady, senior lady rider for the Royal Adelaide Show for 2019. And it is to New South Wales, it's number 93, Taylor Ray Williams. A reserve champion, interestingly, out of the very same class, the 21 to 30 year old class, is number 87, Naomi Karutz. A reserve champion, senior lady rider for 2019. And Mr. Nick Simpson, a very hard working ringmaster, making the presentation here. The Simpson family, great supporters of the show, have been for many, many years, both monetary wise in goods and certainly in hours devoted to the show and Nick's uh, one of those he's carrying on that great great tradition so thanks uh, Nick Simpson thank you very much for being here to make the presentation but a big congratulations to our champion senior lady rider Taylor Ray Williams a reserve champion Naomi Karutz well we'll try and get a quick interview with Naomi here today Naomi you've got a smile from ear to ear congratulations tell us what this means to you oh a lot um we work so hard to get here, so it's incredible to be up here. Sorry? Whereabouts are you from? I'm from South Australia, but I borrowed this horse off of Riley Mayer and I can't thank him enough for borrowing him to me. Well, congratulations. It's just so wonderful to see these lovely two ladies from the same class earlier today. Uh, the class 21 to 30 years and Taylor Ray Williams is our champion lady rider. Reserve champion to Naomi Karutz, Lee Halpin Bishop. Boy, that must have been a tough class to judge. Oh, it certainly was. Uh, look, it could have gone either way, really. Um, very happy with my champion reserve, both beautiful riders uh, and, and just, yeah, really rode their horses forward, uh, gave me everything that I was looking for. Well, they both uh, borrowed horses here today and they're both pretty happy with how they've done with them. Uh, it's a pretty extraordinary moment. Now, you've been a champion lady rider at Canberra, at Brisbane, at Sydney. Uh, can you explain the emotion that they'll be feeling right now? Uh, well, <laughs> my my wins at Canberra, I, um, I've actually won, I think, the over 40 class now uh, two or three times. Never actually gone the champion there, so I've just not quite got there. But um, my wins at Brisbane and, uh, and Sydney have been uh, fairly memorable and yeah really emotional and I think it's um, for me um, having my mum with me and everything um, is the best part having your family around you to share it with and um, and some great friends too. Well Taylor Ray Williams has certainly got friends here with her and hopefully some family too to enjoy it. Naomi Crooks she's a local girl so she'll be celebrating tonight but uh, they're making their way out of the arena now this has been a really special class you enjoying your Royal Adelaide show judging experience so far. Oh, certainly. The weather's been beautiful. It's actually a little bit uh, warmer than at home before I left. It was only 11 degrees, so I was a bit worried it was going to rain uh, yesterday for today. But um, apart from the breeze, a bit chilly, uh, it's been wonderful. Well, there we have it. That is uh, the result of our champion lady rider class. We'll also be bringing you this afternoon one more of our classes. It's our champion child's show hunter pony. We're looking forward to seeing some exhibits that are just truly wonderful quality and uh, great examples of child's show hunter ponies. See you in a few moments' time. Thank you. <laughs> I love that I just catch you every time. <laughs>
Let's celebrate the state. The people. The magic. The memories. The bright lights and the high rides. The sparkling eyes. Over two full weekends. The Royal Adelaide Show. The show of a lifetime. Free purchase tickets and save. Theshow.com.au over to the Adelaide show here every year. I'm really excited to be competing today. Motocross are back with the all-new Krasky Demons Rise of the Demon World Tour, featuring an all-star lineup of the world's best FMX riders, world record holders, crusty babes, and fan favourites, including Australia's own Jackson Strong. This ain't no circus. Taking over the country with 12 massive shows. Tickets on sale now at crusty.com. This event is special because it's the premium wine show in Australia. South Australia makes 75% of Australia's wines and this is where we have the best wine. If you want to understand wine and enjoy wine, come here. It's great value, yeah. it really is. It's such good value. You can go to a tasting sort of event anywhere but it's not gonna be like thousands, like literally thousands. There's some new wines that you don't ever see in some of the wineries and to get such a broad spectrum of wine in one night is brilliant. We're talking about wines that are just out on the tables here that are upwards of $150, $200 bottles, right down to your $20, $30 bottles, which are great to get into as well. There is a wine here for everybody. There's about 70 different categories of wine, and you just got to get out there. You've got the freedom to pick up the bottle, put it in your glass and taste. I think it's good that it's uh, a little bit unstructured, and I don't mean that in a, a chaotic way. Uh, nobody's here trying to stop you from opening a red or opening a white or whatever. This beats like going to cellar doors and stuff. It just cuts all of that out. Like the access to everything. Yeah. No big queues to wait around for one bottle. Fortunately, I spent the extra $10 to do the masterclass at 5.30. And that was fantastic to try the award-winning wines. I keep coming back each year because I enjoy seeing the new vintages, the new wines, the new take on some of the old-style wines. Amazing.
show this year, love it. We come over to the Adelaide show here every year. I'm really excited to be competing today. Well, a very good afternoon to you all. Welcome to our live stream here at the Royal Adelaide Show. We are bringing you our last champion class of the day. It is Champion Child's Show Hunter Pony. Our judge comes to us from Queensland, uh, Kristen Taunton, and has had great success recently at the Royal Queensland Show. But here is uh, now outside of the show ring and making the adjudication of our Champion Child's Show Hunter Pony. And we have six magnificent exhibits out here on the circle at the moment. We'll be bringing you all of the action. You'll hear the voice of Peter Hegney bringing you the details throughout uh, this class. And we do hope you enjoy the footage coming to you on our live stream. We encourage your questions. We've just had a question recently on the live stream about uh, which of these competitors will be going off to Perth Royal. We'll ask around and do a bit of a straw poll and come back to you on that one. But uh, we know that following this, we have both Melbourne and Perth. So you might see a bit of a split of our top end competitors going to each of those shows. But enjoy this class. We'll bring you the commentary on the way through. But uh, six magnificent and exhibits on the circle for our judge Kristen Taunton now from Queensland. Well, uh, a couple of our exhibits that you'll see on your screen now, Belgara Emirates, we saw yesterday uh, win a class as well with Elsie Cooper on board and exhibiting here and uh, Belgara Emirates was in fact the successful competitor from our class not exceeding 12.2. We'll also see out there Elvenara Park Candyman, Chase Jackson on board, uh, Carmen Sun from South East Queensland, that's catalogue number 247. DP Chocolate is out there, Dale Plum's nomination, catalogue number 564, the winner of our 12.2 um, hands not exceeding 14. In fact, uh, my, my apologies, that was uh, each of our competitors warming up at the moment because we've got the second places uh, to each of those classes out here as well. They need to be nice and warm in the event that they are called in as the contender for reserve champion Charles Showhunter Pony. Well, this is a beautiful class to watch and uh, Showhunter Ponies are incredibly popular all around the country. And uh, we're looking here for a lovely type a horse that is safe. So where we have the prefix of childs, we are looking for a pony that could be ridden by a child, though it needn't be exhibited by a child. And it's a type rather than a breed. So we might see some saddle ponies out here, some riding ponies out here, you might see some welters, and uh, we're actually looking for the type, which is a child's show hunter. You'll notice that each of our riders out here are wearing a tweed jacket. And the tweed can be navy or can be brown. And you'll notice that uh, dissimilar to some of the other pony classes that we see out here, we don't see any of the bling, we don't see any of the flash. We see quite much plainer leather tack out here on our exhibits. Well, this is our first competitor to complete the individual workout. And this is the winner of the 
Child's Show Hunter Pony Class, not exceeding 12.2. It's competitor number 571. And it's Belgara Emirates and Elsie Cooper. Well, as Lindsay just pointed out, the Hunter classes have do have some stipulations that they have to adhere to, and that includes wearing the planar tack, having planar colours on them, a tweed coat, no bling, uh, no colour really at all, and that's a stipulation in these Hunter classes. They evolved, of course, from England, where they were conducted for many, many years before they were introduced here into Australia, but they've become very popular, um, extremely popular. Some of these ponies, cute and nice as they are, perhaps aren't quite competitive in the open pony hack classes, where a lot of English riding pony breed has been introduced, and as a result of that, we have some very, very fine ponies in the uh, pony hack ring, Whereas these pony hunters have a little bit of Welsh, they may have some riding pony in them for sure, but uh, quite a lot of them will also have a little bit of that Welsh breeding. Because the important aspect of these child show hunter ponies is that they do have to be suitable for a child. Um, I'd suggest that our judge will be taking that into consideration when she's judging. They might be wonderful ponies, but if they're not suitable for child, then I question whether they should, in fact, uh, be winning uh, classes or major awards. But that's only my opinion. No, I'm certainly not the judge. So that completes the workout for our first competitor, number 571, Belgara Emirates and Elsie Cooper. Well, interesting, we have two cream ponies in this champion child's show hunter pony. Our second one is number 247, now receiving instructions from our judge, and this is Elvanara Park Candyman, nominated by Carmen Jackson and ridden by eight-year-old son Chase. Elvanara Park Candyman. Very successful pony. He's competed right around Australia. Uh, I think he's had a number of riders and he's carted a lot of young riders to great success. He's now being ridden by an eight-year-old and obviously Chase is doing a super job on him as well. Well, a few moments from now after Chase has completed his workout and uh, one more of our eligible champions does their workout, we will add a new name to the records. They'll join the ranks of Marin de Fortitude from 2018, our champion Charles Show Hunter Pony. In 2017, our champion was Owendale Rembrandt. 2016, the Owendale prefix. Once again, Owendale Beat Sting, who we've seen out here competing. And back in 2015, it was Laureate Breaking Dawn. Well, young Chase Jackson was uh, our champion boy rider only two weeks ago at uh, the Royal Queensland Show. He's a Queensland local and he had a big support crew with him up there. But uh, when he rode out yesterday, we know that there's a number of people that have travelled with him here to, to support the young gentleman. And I would suggest that Chase Jackson will be very happy with his workout. Getting good support from the stand as well on Elvanara Park Candyman, the aptly named little Palomino pony. And the only Bay Brown pony in the championship. This is the winner of the 12 2 to 13 hand class. It's number 564. This is DP Chocolate, nomination of Dale Plum, and ridden by his daughter Daisy. DP, of course, the initials for Dale Plum himself. And Daisy, a very successful rider. I, I think she was already been reserve champion rider here this year at the show. Her sister Poppy was also the winner of her rider class as well. So a very, very successful showing family, obviously. Dale himself, one of the most successful uh, show competitors in Australia over a long period of time, and now his daughters are taking over that mantle. So our final horse to compete, D.P. Chocolate and Daisy Plum.
have a few people sitting at home watching the live stream and I uh, hope you're enjoying it. But I've got to say, you're missing out on a magnificent day here at the Adelaide Showgrounds. The weather has been so good to us so far, getting a little cool now, I can see it, but uh, it is uh, 5 o'clock in the south, 5.30 in the eastern states. So I'm entitled to be getting just a little cooler, but we've been so very lucky. We had a light shower of rain last evening to settle the dust, dust freshened up the grass, and... Uh, uh, the forecast for the rest of the week is pretty good too. So we're looking forward to a very, very enjoyable and pleasant show. Uh, so the final workout in this, the champion Charles Show Hunter Pony. That was DP Chocolate and Daisy Plum. Now a judge will make a decision whether in, well, firstly on her champion. And when she's made that decision, then the second place getter in the class that supplied the champion will come in and be a contender for the reserve championship. So the second place getter will then compete against the winners of the other two classes for the reserve championship. We saw it happen a little earlier, earlier didn't we, Lindsay, when the second place getter in the champion lady rider event, in fact, uh, the reserve champion was the second place getter in her class. It absolutely does happen, and uh, our judge now has just called in the contender. As soon as we can see the breastplate, we'll bring that to you. But uh, Kristen Taunton, our judge, is a very successful eventer, uh, has moved into the show ring since and had many successes. Her two daughters, showing and show jumping as well. And uh, she's looking lovely today in her pale pink ensemble. Well, that breastplate we can see now is 579. 579 is Laureate Breaking Dawn, Rebecca Gerber's nomination. And uh, that Laureate prefix has done well here before. In fact, Laureate Breaking Dawn was our champion of this very class back in 2015. And uh, look, that was uh, second place to Elvenara Park Candyman. So unofficially, for those in the know, you will now know that Catalogue 247 he is our champion, Charles Showhunter Pony. Well, obviously our judge has been very kind and uh, given this competitor an opportunity just to go out there and have a little warm up before she actually completes the set workout. And that's really good of the judge to allow her to do that. The others, of course, have had a warm up They've been out there, but uh, she's allowing Laureate Breaking Dawn, Rebecca Gerber's nomination, to uh, go have a warm up, and now she's going out to complete the set workout. And as we've mentioned right throughout our show hunter classes, for those people who are not so familiar, my apologies to those who are. Um, in the show hunter classes, our judge is looking for a pony with a little more substance, a little more bone, perhaps a little deeper, a touch heavier, but at the same time they must retain quality and very importantly they must go like a show horse and like a show hunter. They must cover the ground, uh, they must look like they're a pleasurable ride and they must also in this occasion look like they're suitable for a, a child. And so far, I'd have to say, our three horses that have worked have certainly shown that. And uh, the current pony out there working as well is showing exactly those traits. So I think it's been a very good class. And uh, as Lindsay said to you, uh, unofficially, of course, we believe Elvenara Park Candyman will be our champion. But we'll wait for the official announcement of that. And if that's the case, boy, he's been a wonderful, wonderful pony. He's won so many champion um, champion show hunter pony classes with many young riders on him just a wonderful asset worth his weight in gold but we'll hold fire until that's officially announced we'll try and sneak a little interview now with uh, chase jackson if we can the young gentleman on board elvenara park candy man this magnificent exhibit that uh, as peter Hegley rightly says is uh he's done well at many many shows around Australia. Uh, now Chase Jackson are you enjoying your Royal Adelaide show so far? Yep. Uh, what are you loving most other than being out here riding and doing so well? Um, watching the rugby on TV. That's not part of the show you can't be watching the rugby. Hey this magnificent exhibit of yours is called Elvenara Park Candyman when we're at a show but when you're home in the paddock you've got a very funny name for this horse. What is it? Hamey Burger. Say that again for
for me? Hamey Burger. Hamey Burger. Now, why do you call this horse Hamey Burger and what sort of uh, personality does Hamey Burger have in the paddock? Well, he eats anything. That's why he even ate Dipper Dots once at Eka. You can't feed a pony. Dipper Dots are right. We're going to let you go now because we're about to see the presentation of this class. <laughs> Herbie Burger likes dipper, dipping dots, apparently. But uh, that might just be a winning nutritional plan for a pony because Elvanara Park Candyman is unofficially our champion child show hunter pony here at the 2019 Royal Adelaide Show. Well, we make our way now over to the presentation arena. It is um, a beautiful location that is set up just for moments like these so that uh, we can give the due time and attention to our champions and reserve champions. Our judge, Kristen Taunton from Queensland. You've had a wonderful time in the show ring and many years leading up to this year, but uh, your daughters are out here competing, is that right? So oh, they competed at Eka. They're at home working horses, hopefully. <laughs> Very good. You've left them at home looking after the fort. Uh, you've had a great day judging out here. What have you judged today? Uh, I've had the pleasure of judging all the child's horse, uh, classes today, which has been fabulous. Lots of really, really nice ponies. Um, the kids have all been really great. Um, so, yeah, I'm, and I'm, it's, I'm glad it didn't rain. It was meant to forecast to rain, so I'm glad that didn't happen. Now, the last time I saw you, you were at the Royal Queensland Show uh, picking up some good ribbons yourself. Uh, yes, our hunter pony was champion open and champion child at Brisbane. So, yes, we did have a very good show. Well, we're making the presentation now in the presentation arena of our champion child's show hunter pony, Kristen Taunton, being called to make that presentation now. Our congratulations with the fanfare in the background to Elvenara Park Candyman and the connections there, written today by Chase Jackson, exhibited here by Carmen Jackson. Congratulations once again. And our reserve champion catalogue number 564 DP Chocolate Dale Plums nomination. Daisy on board today, the young lady who did very well in her rider class as well today. She's picked up two reserve champions. Daisy, this exhibit here, DP Plum, you've already had a good chat to me on the microphone here today. Tell us a bit about this horse. Oh, we bred him and broke him in and he's been good ever since. <laughs> Pretty good Father's Day, hey, for the Plums? Yeah, very good. <laughs> Lovely young lady here and uh, congratulations to the connections of Elvenara Park Candyman and DP Chocolate. Young Chase Jackson there looking just magnificent aboard that beautiful pony. Well, I tell you what. <laughs> well, what a day we have had here with our champions this afternoon, our champion lady rider, Taylor Ray Williams, our champion Charles Show Hunter Pony uh, with Elvenara Park Candyman. We've had a magnificent afternoon here at the Royal Adelaide Show and uh, that is unfortunately the end of our live stream here today. But don't worry, we're going to be back tomorrow showing you around dairy cattle. Oh, we've got our harness viceroy classes coming out here tomorrow afternoon, so they're always a fantastic class to watch. Uh, we'll be 
out live streaming from midday tomorrow. A big thank you to our partner here for the Royal Adelaide Show, Bank SA. And uh, boys and girls, mums and dads, thanks for tuning in. We love your questions. We love your comments. And uh, if you can't be here with us on the grounds, enjoying the smells and sounds and atmosphere of the Royal Adelaide Show, we're happy that you can join us on the live stream. Have an excellent night. See you later.